Ally Quinta versus Cowboy Cerrone. Guys, do you need any more evidence to tell old Chael that I've been right from the beginning? I've been telling you for years how tough Ally Quinta is. I think my point is now proven. I mean, I feel like he's he's proved me right, proved me right, and I think even in defeat, he proved me right again. There is such a misconception that the only guy you can learn from is the guy who wins. No, you can learn stuff from the guy who comes in second as well. Look, Al did a great job. If you were to look at that strategically, what problems did he run into? It was with the range. He was just having a hard time getting to his target. Look, if you're ever standing in front of a guy, right in front of a guy, and the guy has a longer reach than you, which Cowboy had over Al, one thing that you can do to alleviate that is just take a step to the left or take a step to the right. It makes the guy with the link have to reset. Now, that's going to be good for defense. That's going to make the guy reset and not be able to hit you with some of those straight kicks, some of those legs kicks that Cowboy does, some of those straight punches that he does. The bad news is when you're doing that, you now don't have an offense. It's a defensive tactic. You don't have an offense. So Al spent a lot of the night having to play defense because he had a reach disadvantage. Okay, great. Aside from that, he fought really well. I mean, he was on the attack the whole time. And don't forget, Al is a five-round fighter. Al will hurt you in the first minute. Bet your ass he will. But he'll hurt you in the 24th minute. Now, that's where the compliment goes. Now to Cowboy's side. Cowboy was able to hold up. And I've heard stories over Cowboy's career that he choked under pressure, that he choked in the big fights. That's not what I saw. I, j I just haven't seen that, right? 155 pounds is the toughest weight in the sport, any organization, any way that you want to do it. So sometimes you're going to run into those guys. And if it happens to be on the biggest night of your career, I mean, what are you going to do? It's just a tough division. I will say this, though, as a guy that's traveled the road and known Donald Cerrone forever, he struggles anxiety-wise. He gets per anxiety in five-round contests. It's not a choking. It's not a title issue. It's not who the opponent is. But sometimes that atmosphere can be overwhelming. And that's a very real thing for most athletes. I'm 99%. It would be the rare guys that want uh, the longer matches and can, can form, uh, perform even better in those situations. So. Very normal reaction, but that has been one of the problems that Cowboy has faced. He's all of a sudden a five-round guy. I can't believe what I'm watching when I watch Cowboy Cerrone. And this isn't totally brand new. This actually, the day when I watched Cowboy go, what the hell is this? He fought a guy named Rick Story. Okay, now this is years ago, but he fought Rick Story. Then he goes into the Patrick Cote fight. If you guys are big Cowboy fans and you remember those two fights, that's when Cowboy Cerrone all of a sudden debuts a double leg. But not just a double, like, one of the best, like a George St. Pierre style double leg, where you're going, oh my gosh, that's, that's absolutely perfect wrestling technique. Where did that come from, Cowboy? He really broke that out against Rick Story and, and Patrick Cote. And all of a sudden you started to see, okay, there, he's getting lucky. I remember thinking, I mean, Cowboy looked so good, I had no way to explain how he was looking so good this late in his career. Okay, he's just having a couple of good nights. Put a couple of good nights together, good for Cowboy. Guys, he's getting better. And before any of you push back and chill, what do you mean he's getting better? Cowboy's always been great. Now, I understand that. I'm telling you, he's getting better. I've only seen this one other time with age. And the sad reality is human beings, we just don't get better with time. We just simply don't. He is getting better. And the only other guy I've seen do this is Robbie Lawler. Robbie Lawler later in his career got better, took a step forward. And I largely attribute it to his move to Florida only because that was the only thing that I could pinpoint and go, okay, here's what he's doing. He's in the same weight class, fighting the same guy, doing the exact same thing. His style, his techniques haven't changed, but something inside, something changed with Robbie Lawler. And it was right in line time-wise of when he, when he made that move out to Florida. Something is changing with Donald Cerrone. Now he has identified it for us. He has come out and told us it is the birth of his child. To me, that sounds like a very nice thing that a proud papa would say because Junior might be seeing this video someday later and Junior could take some real pride in it. I think with Cowboy, he's just telling us the truth. He's like a new man. And fatherhood will very much change you. But when I hear guys say, got my little guy here. I'm not going to let him down. I'm not going to embarrass myself in front of him. I'm going to go out and fight even harder. I'm going, Cowboy, is it possible for you to fight any harder? You were the, you were the WC World Champion, for goodness sakes. Is it possible for you to fight harder? Than being the world champion, you had the record for most wins in octagon history going into the fight. 
You beat the record. It was your own record, you son of a bitch. You, th you really think you can fight any harder? He says he can. And from what I'm seeing, he is. And now he's doing it in five-round situations. Ally Quinn is a world champion on any given night. I mean, not for nothing, but he is. And I believe the official scorecards read 4-1 to one, Donald Cerrone. So when you look at his ability to push through, not wither, not wilt, stay focused. He, Donald even came out after the fight. And this is a very real thing. And he said, old cowboy would have quit in that Iaquina fight. Now, I don't know if that's completely literal. I, old cowboy was a pretty damn tough guy, but old cowboy was also pretty hard on himself. Old cowboy was his own worth critic. New cowboy appears to now be a fan of current cowboy. He looks in the mirror and he likes what he sees looking back at him. He believes in that guy. It's a very interesting thing. And yeah, we could talk about the leg kicks and we could talk about how he kept range and Cowboy did a great job every time they clinched up that on the breaks, boom, he come off with a hook and make Al pay for coming in. We could talk about all that stuff and, and as fight people, we do need to observe that. But I feel like for the layman's, for just average humans, there was a real lesson here in the power of the mind. And when Donald is saying, look, it's time for me to fight Conor McGregor, that really is true. And Cerrone gets a ton of credit. We've talked about it before, but he's a leader in the locker room. Fellow guys on the roster need to look to Donald Cerrone as a guy who takes opportunities, who says yes, who goes out and does the heavy lifting. Doesn't matter if he's got to get on an airplane and fly halfway across the world. If it's best for business, then he's going to do his part. He's a real leader in the locker room. And from what he thought he was going into, which was this huge mega fight, a lot of eyeballs, a lot of dollars in fairness against Conor McGregor, and then, to, uh, you know, to go down and have this hard ass fight with a straight up killer like Al, but not have the same reward in, in truth and the same eyeballs in truth. That would be a big emotional blow to most guys. But Cowboy went out and performed anyway. And now that he's done that, it is very, uh, it, it's very apparent and it's even a responsibility that anybody in a decision making role has at this point to do their absolute best to make that fight happen. Cowboy is one of those guys a lot like Daniel Cormier. He doesn't ask for much. He'll wait till you ask for something and he'll say yes. If it's the one time in his career, just like when Daniel asked to fight Brock, if it's the one time in Donald Cerrone's career that he's asking for something and he's asking for Conor McGregor, we have an obligation as fans, as supporters, and ultimately the industry decision makers to try to make that happen for him. And I think that it's very much in line. I think, it's, I think it makes all the sense for Conor. I think I think it's a I think it's a win-win for everybody. But moving forward, congrats to both guys. Thank you to Al and Cowboy for such a great fight. And um I think we need to do our part. We need to get behind Cowboy, get behind Connor, get those guys together.